The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. Hey, what is up, YouTube fam? It's Dupree, aka Darth Hater, here with some brand new, fresh Star Wars news. But, um, before we get into it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe because it greatly helps on my channel. Also, don't forget to check out my last video. So, my boys over there making Star Wars, Jason Ward himself has just dropped this new info about not one, not two, but three Darth Vader's for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Three, you ask? Well, you know, aside from the obvious Hayden Christensen, we have a couple stunt guys. Rogue One specifically had two guys and Spencer Wilding and the other guy, I can't forget his name for the life of me because he wasn't promoted that hard. These guys, uh, I found out about this a while ago. I had some friends on set. Now it's official. We have names because I could not remember this guy's names for the life of me. So let's see as it says. The three Darth Vader's of Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi. I recently ran a port about the rematch of the century. If you're not sure what that means, it means the fight between Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader. Most readers want to know to what extent Hayden Christensen played Darth Vader. Was he in the duel? Is it a flashback? Back then I reported that Hayden was not really there for two weeks of filming for the rematch. So who's playing Darth Vader and how? Darth Vader number one, Demetrius Bistrevsky. Yes, I heard this name a while ago. I could not say the name for the life of me because even what I found out didn't know how to say it. So, Demetrius Bistrevsky. The Star Wars Mandalorian stunt performer Demetrius Bistrevsky plays Darth Vader when he's primarily standing around being a Sith Lord, hands in his belt, looking menacing. When he has lines in a suit, that's Demetrius Bistrevsky. When you see Darth Vader on a Star Destroyer, that's Demetrius Bistrevs Dis that's Demetrius. So, okay, we have the one. Uh, from what I heard about this guy, he's really, really tall. Like, exceptionally tall. Um, he's taller than Spencer Wilding, who's 6'7". He's taller, taller than Dave Prowse, who I met personally, who was actually really 6'5", really. Really, he's probably sick. I met him when he was older, so he's probably 6'6 six, six at his height, but full height, but you know, older 6'5. Darth Vader number two, Tom O'Connell. The second Darth Vader, according to my sources, is Tom O'Connell. O'Connell is our new Bob Anderson. Dave Prowse could barely fight, could barely sword fight, so they use Bob Anderson for the sword fighting Empire and Jedi. We see Darth Vader with his lightsaber ignited. You can bet it's Tom O'Connell swinging the laser sword around. All right, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Darth Vader number three, the obvious. The most famous Darth Vader is Hayden Christensen because he is Anakin Skywalker. In Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi, we will see Hayden play Darth Vader in the back to tank or when the mass of Darth Vader is removed. We will also see Hayden Christensen played Darth Vader before the suit and flashbacks and sequences reminiscent of from the point of view the Jedi are evil. Obi-Wan has these flashbacks of his former Padawan turned Sith Lord. Ooh. <laughs> the last heard James L. Jones the last I heard James L. Jones was doing the voice of Dar of Darth Vader for the series, thank God. We still have him and he's still doing it but that was crosstalk so take it for what it is worth to the best of my knowledge these are the three performers who worked as a team to bring Darth Vader back to life on screen for Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi the series is rumored to blah 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 May 2022 which is May 25th yeah so there we go um, yes we have three so we have a really big guy in a suit to just stand there and be menacing and then we have our sword fighting Darth Vader and then we have Hayden who's like you know taking the mask off maybe sitting doing his Anakin Skywalker Vader bit and they would be crazy crazy and or stupid to not bring James Earl Jones back for this seeing as we still have him he's still willing to do it and the man's voice may have been a little older but that's nothing you know a little special effects work can't 
help filter and help with that. Hell, they did that with Mark Hamill for uh, the book of Boba Fett for his Luke Skywalker scenes. They filtered the voice because Mark Hamill still got credit for that. Even though he was not there, that's still his voice. So, yes, James Earl Jones needs to come back. They also specifically did that for Star Wars Rebels. Now, Star Wars Rebels, James Earl Jones. They filtered his voice so he sounded like a much younger Darth Vader. He sounded like how he did in A New Hope right before it got a little bit gravelly and Empire and, you know, angry and all that. But that was him. They didn't do that so much for Rogue One. Rogue One, you kind of got the uh, James Earl Jones voice now. So you got 80 something plus year old James Earl Jones for Darth Vader. So I'm hoping to do something with that they like i said we have this man for all you know only so much more long longer use him please use him um the other guy like i said i heard from my sources on set that this guy was huge really really huge like the stormtroopers had to like look up at him and he is very very menacing so that i'm happy about we have a scarier looking darth vader the second guy i'm at this is the first I'm hearing about it. So I'm wondering, you know, how that's going to be. I've heard the stunt work with this Vader is going to be really, really crazy. We're getting a different, more agile Darth Vader. We're getting a more empowered Darth Vader. We're getting the Vader from the comic books that's levitating a lot of stuff, going toe to toe with different Jedi. How does lightsaber hand to hand? We're getting a Darth Vader who's doing flips, who's being a little bit more acrobatic. You know, we're getting that. We're, we're finally going to get the Vader of our dreams. I am going to get the Vader of my dreams. Damn. Uh, forget, forget it. I'm going to say it right here. Just put me in this, y'all. Just get cast me in one of these shows. I will be a backup Darth Vader. I just want to be on set. I want to wear the suit. I'll sword fight. I'll do any and everything I have to. Hell, I'll even do backup lines for James Earl Jones when he's tired just so I can have a part of anything Darth Vader related when it comes to any of these shows and or movies. Get me in this, vote. Anyway, um, yeah, since the uh, announcement of Obi-Wan, we've had like so much news lately and there's a lot more that I'm gonna talk about. I wanna say that for uh, another video or two. So yeah, um, let me know what you guys think about this. This, um, you know, I, I'm kind of a little surprised. I already knew Hayden was, you know, going to be sharing the role with another actor. I didn't know it was going to be three, but it makes a lot of sense. They have, hell, they have a whole team for the Mandalorian. You know, we only get to see two for the most part, but they have a lot of other stunt guys. So it makes sense. Anyway, guys, let me know you guys' thoughts down below. Let me know what you think about this news. Let me know what you think about this kind of mirroring how it was back in the day when you had Dave Prowse and Bob Anderson and a few others playing Vader. Let me know in thoughts comments down below. And as always, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you didn't like this video, hit that like button. And if you could be so kind as to hit that subscribe button, uh, if you're not subscribed to your channel, do that. And don't forget to hit that bell to get notifications for all my latest videos. That would be great. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. See you in the next one. May the force be with you. Bye.